So it's Finbar's fury in the 2.30. Put your house on it, the granny's savings, the mortgage, the kids' college fund, your wife, whatever you like, cannot get beaten. I could ride this. Finbar's fury it would win. The faces, the shrewdies are all piling in. I don't know the second and third, but I got a horse. Finbar's fury. No, no, don't switch off, Winston. Oh, well done, Winston. We thought we'd lost you for a second. There was plenty of time for leather sofas, luxury holidays and sports cars. Imagine 32 and a half grand. That would be fine. But it could be 50 grand. It could be 100 grand. This Finbar's fury in the 230. So get that wedge off the table and get your backside down to the bookies. Now, Winston, now! Right, John. See me, I need to get my leg on. So it's Stevie Mayer from Camper I tell you, you'd be back. Shut up. Well, I'm flabbergasted. I must admit, I fancied that Finbar's fury a bit, but never mind. John. Now, at the three o'clock here at Lingfield, the jockey of the moment, this Pat O'Grieve. He's ridden the last two winners. He's never mind that, Lou. The man's on fire. John. What are you talking to the telly for, Winston? John. This number 10. Ignorant bastard. Five.